So every time I take Rory to the airport, or at least almost every time, we go to Waffle House because it is so delicious. Does anybody else like Waffle House? Because, I don't know, it's, it's the only Waffle House in Austin. Anyway, we go, we go there before I drop him off for another long, long month or so of not seeing each other. It, uh, it's kind of bittersweet, our little Waffle House excursions. But, uh, yep, Rory's gone again. He's in El Paso for about a month, maybe a little less. And, uh... I dropped him off at the airport about a week ago, so I've got about three more weeks to go until he comes home. So I've been keeping myself busy with uh, drawing and mostly, I mean, I wish I had more time for drawing recently, but most of my time is being spent between two part-time jobs right now and school. Uh, I'm taking an astronomy class and a government class. And both are proving to be really difficult. Um, actually, I don't know. My government class, we haven't really done anything but listened to him lecture. Uh, but he did say that he expects everybody, or at least a large majority of the class, to fail the first test. And he also said that, with that in mind, he will throw that test out. But uh, don't let that discourage you from coming to class. I don't know, or, you know, taking the test. Coming to class and, and taking the test on that day. He's a weirdo, but I like him. Um, he's a self-proclaimed anarchist. The guy's really interesting. Um, but yeah, that's my government class. And my astronomy class, we've got, a, we've got our first test on Tuesday. And boy, am I stressing out about it because... I don't know, it's like, it's a bunch of sort of mathy stuff. It's not really, it is math, but it isn't. It's like, um, well, our homework was mathy. We had some large brain murdering numbers to deal with and like figure out their luminosities and, you know, like 4.6878. 11d72 times 10 to the negative 107th power type of junk. Yeah, it took me a while to, to do that homework because I just, it hurt. It, <laughs> it, it pretty much literally hurt. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got this test on Tuesday and it's basically a lot of writing. He says to come prepared, come come prepared with, uh, you know, a pencil and, and a pen and stuff. Uh, and, um, yeah, so, so that's, that's in a few days. But I really wanted to put this video together before I started cramming knowledge into my head about stars and laws and people's names and definitions and stuff. I wanted to <sighs> release a little stress and finish up this drawing. Uh, I don't know. It, it took me about a week to do this just because there was, there's so much going on. I'm, I'm constantly moving these days. It's really hard, actually, to sit underneath my camera and, and make a video. So when I am drawing, it's usually when I just have some extra time, like, at work or in the other room or something. When I'm So two of my jobs are... I, I've got two part-time jobs, like I said, and one of them is actually work from home, so I don't know, I'll, I'll bring my, my, my little sketchbook into the bedroom where I've got my setup for my, my remote support job, and, uh, uh, and then I'll just doodle in there, and, you know, I, I get stuff done that way, but, but I also want to put work into this channel, and it's really hard because, you know, I have to be in one place to make videos. I can't just take my camera to, like, I don't know, I guess I could, but I'm, I don't know, I'm just kind of self-conscious self, self, self -conscious about 
taking my camera places and filming myself in public drawing, that just seems kind of... I mean, it, it depends on the situation, obviously, but... Like, just sitting by myself with some coffee, with a camera over my shoulder, it just seems weird. Um, I don't know. I, I've done it in a, in a park before. Uh, like, gone to a little bench and uh, started a drawing there. It was for class. I did, like, a little video for class. Sort of. Um, uh, when I was taking an art class a year and a half ago. But anyway, uh, the point is... I haven't had a lot of time to make videos, and I really, I really hate that. I really wish I had more time. I, I, I constantly wish that there were more hours in a day, but you know what? There just aren't. It's just the way it is. For example, I drew this little bird guy that I'm outlining here. I drew him at work because I drew him in pencil, and you know, if I didn't like him, I could have just erased him and and continued, but, I don't know, it's really not hard to explain in a video that, hey, I drew this little bird off video, off camera, and, and here he is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna solidify him in pen here, and, and on we go. <sighs> how, uh, how are you people doing? YouTube is so weird. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure of the algorithms. I'm not really sure how it all works. But, uh, I appreciate you guys that, that have come into my life and, and said your, your words. I have online friends that, that regularly watch my videos. I mean, I think they do. Um, but you strangers out there that, that just sort of find me on YouTube organically, that's, it's pretty nice. Thank you guys, too. Nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> how's it going? How, how are you? I'm doing okay. Um, I'm just sitting at home. I'm drinking a Smithix Red Ale. And, uh, hmm. I don't know. I feel a little anxious, but I'm not sure why. And I, I have some ideas, but I guess it's mostly like because of school. And I'm not sure how hard these classes are going to start being. Oh. This is Henry. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention. Henry, my wonderful cat, he turned 10 years old on September 15th. I don't know if that's actually his birthday, but for as long as I've had him, that's been his birthday. Whoa, something's happening. I'll be right back. Whew, sorry. Uh, I'm back. Yeah, it was just Henry and Zeus attacking each other, playfully but loudly. I, I thought that, like, things in the pantry in the closet had, uh, like, crashed or something. I don't know. It's weird. Animals. Okay. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Something about stress. Oh, no. I was talking about Henry. Henry being 10. So, when I first moved to Texas, um, I had a decent amount of money. Uh, and, and the reason behind that is it's a, it's a good story, but it's too long to tell right now. Uh, anyway, but I, I came here with the decision that I would buy, with my money, I would buy a laptop, a bike, and a cat. And Henry was that cat. I found him on Craigslist. He was one of... <sighs> Henry, how many brothers and sisters did you have? You had, like, nine? Like, eight or nine sisters and brothers, and they were all orange. Henry was gray. So, I'm pretty sure he lived up in Round Rock, or he was born up in Round Rock. I don't remember. Back then, I didn't really know the, the different parts of Austin. Um, but I do remember being on uh, Interstate 35 and, and going up north for quite a ways. So, I, I vaguely feel like it was Round Rock. Uh, Texas. 
which isn't really Austin, but it kind of still is. It's, it's still its legitimate own city. Um, anyway, so we went up there, and, and there were there were a little family of kittens. And uh, Henry, he ran behind a lawnmower. But, you know, I saw him instantly, and I kind of like carefully tiptoed after him and tried to remove him from behind this lawnmower. And uh, he uh, he hissed at me. And I picked him up anyway, and I cuddled him, and he got lost under the seat of of the car, like underneath my seat in the car on the way back. He got lost and and was under me, just mewling, like, "Where am I? Where are my sisters and brothers? Where's my mummy? Where am I?" Uh, no. I took him home, and it was true love ever since. But, uh, yeah, when I got him, they, they told me he was exactly two weeks old, and whenever that, or no, not two weeks old, he was, like, eight weeks old. So, like, you know, two months. And I got him in November. So if he was exactly eight weeks old, like the lady told me, from that date, it was about September 15th. So yeah, happy 10th birthday to Henry. <sighs> yep. So, yeah, sorry I haven't made a video in quite a while. Uh, I explained why, but um, I don't know, it still kind of sucks. I really like making videos. Um, I have some more footage that I'm going to try to put together soon of... Uh, some some stuff I did today. There was an art festival in town called the uh, Pecan Street Festival. It's uh, basically a giant art festival that comes to town uh, every every so often, uh, like once a year, I guess. That's that's so often, right? That's once so, every so often. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> once a year or so. And um, I've never been before. And today I was finally able to go. It's like this big Austin thing that. Anyway, uh, I was really happy to go to that, and I took some video. Um, but this is what I this is what I have for you today, and uh, thanks for watching, and and thanks for subscribing and stuff. Tell your friends. <laughs> All right, have a good night, guys, or, or day, or whatever you do. Goodbye.